What the hell? Y'all see what I'm seeing? What is that? It is basically almost the end of April and we still have snow on the ground. I mean, I guess that's life in Winnipeg. You just never know what the weather is like each day, but we are back with another <laughs> brand new episode. We're at episode eight of the prep series, so which brings us to, I think it's five weeks out now? Five weeks out, so technically four weeks out. You guys remember of why I say four weeks out versus five? But we kicked off the morning with the usual routine, so I'll play a clip right now, but we had our usual morning pre-workout breakfast. So as you can see, I had a bunch of eggs uh, on like rice cakes and, and a little bit of ham with it. And then my usual cream of wheat with blueberries, um, that awesome syrup that I showed you guys in the last video. And what else did I put on? It looks like there's yogurt. Oh, I guess yogurt and peanut butter. But uh, yeah, down that real quick. Also did a quick morning weigh-in as well. So did finally delve into the 147. So another big drop from last week. Um, I typically, ideally, I want to be no more or no less than 145 when I step on stage. So definitely pretty close to that mark. And um, if anything, um, it's just maintaining what I have right now and kind of just try to focus on just losing body fat um, as low as possible. So I don't expect my weight to like make any more drastic jumps or anything like that. Um, if I end up being under 145, then I guess it is what it is. Uh, that, that's kind of like a judgment call that I would have made um, as the weeks progress. So, but in my head at the rate I'm going and how I feel on how I look, I don't see myself going past 145. Last year, my last weigh-in was around the 142s, 143. So, really, if I'm above that, then that's that's awesome for me. But, but again, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll play by ear as the weeks go by. Like I said. But yeah, about to head to get our morning workout in. Today's gonna be a leg day. But yeah, catch y'all then. Let's roll the intro. All right, so for today's leg day, we're gonna be trying out a new pre-workout. We got pre-gym over here. We had this when I first worked at Popeyes, but I never got the chance to try it because we discontinued it due to sales. But recently came back, and looking at the formula right now, it's actually not that bad. It's pretty straightforward. You got a bunch of caffeine at 300 milligrams, um, four grams of L-citrulline, got some betaine in there, uh, BCAs as well, which is a little bit unique when it comes to pre-workouts. NAC, which I heard as well, is a really good ingredient that has a lot of benefits to it. Here's the formula if you guys want to see it up close, but yeah, you got the caffeine and all the ingredients in there. I kind of consider this like an all-in-one type of pre-workout because you got a little focus blend as well as there. So you got a little bit of recovery, a little bit something to help with your strength, some creatine, which is nice. Got the tangerine flavor here. I did take a sip earlier and it kind of reminds me of like orange Tic Tac. So if you guys are into that, um, that's a... That's a pretty solid orange flavor in my opinion. But yeah, I got it in my shaker cup already, so I'm gonna down this real quick and then we're gonna hit this workout. All right, so we are doing another commentary over this leg day video. So this one is a little bit of a unique one because I'm doing my leg day workout that I do throughout the week, which is a little bit different than what I do during the weekends. This one is a little bit more volume based. So I don't normally do squats in, uh, in this workout. I kind of save that for the Sundays. So with this one, I'm basically just starting off with leg press. So. And I do spend a lot of time on the leg press machine. I do multiple sets here at high weight and high volume as well. So that kind of substitutes uh, what I do for, for squats. I feel like with squats in general, they're just a little bit more taxing. So this one does give me a little bit of a break um, in between um, focusing on strength versus volume. Um, again, we just do multiple sets just to make up for that. Uh, same thing with uh, the rest of the exercises. I kind of just go through the ones I usually do. Um, we got leg press, hack squat machine, um, hamstring curls, all that jazz. And just honestly, I consider this a little bit more of like a, I guess a lighter leg day, like a more easier going leg day than what I do on the Sundays where it's a little bit more um, intense. But yeah, so that's the pretty much the difference between um, this leg day and the, the other ones I do on the weekend. Um, it's a, just a little bit more volume based, but now here's the physique update. So again, like I said, Pretty happy where I'm at with um, how I look and how I feel in general. Um, I know in the coming weeks, it's got, it's again, we're dialing it in. It's basically the digging phase at this point. 
and honestly we're just adjusting as we go uh, making tweaks as needed and kind of just focusing on what we need to do when it comes to posing and just bringing out the best package possible not doing anything super complicated at this point it's just again it's just consistency and trying to just maintain as much strength as i can don't need to make it more complex than what it is i feel like if you could keep it as simple as possible you're just gonna have that much of an easier time going through it um tweaking even just the smallest things here and there unless you're like in the you're going for like the olympia or whatever you're going for your pro card or you're going at a high level you're competing at a high level where you need to make those tiny adjustments for the most part i just try to keep it as simple as possible try to focus on the strengths that i have and but that's just me i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing keep working keep grinding and and then yeah like i said i get more excited as the days progress so this is the second wave this is the second i guess motivational push that i have um yeah once we get closer to show date i just and at the end of the day i just want to make sure that i did what i needed to do to again bring out the best version of myself as possible so so yeah that's the physique update can't wait to see how the next few weeks progress and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video all right so get these out of my ears but solid leg day um hope you guys like that commentary i've been doing those for a bit now with the workout clips that i've been taking but yeah like i said this one's a little bit more of a volume day so what you're seeing right now is the leg workout that i do uh, during the week yeah i already drank my protein shake in the locker room so i've been trying to keep my protein consistent throughout this whole prep so i've actually upped it a little bit at the start of prep i typically had around 175 grams of protein but with my carbs dipping down a little bit lower than usual i kind of upped it to the 185 mark just kind of uh switched some macros up a little bit um as the as we got deeper into prep but as i did in the last video we are doing the draft pick of the day when it comes to energy drinks i know i just had that uh pre-gym pre-workout so i feel like that's been worn off but i've been dying to try this since i got it last week i did get the G Fuel energy drink as well. Now, when I was there, they had a whole bunch of different flavors, had no idea what each one was because they had really creative names along with it. So I asked the guy pretty much, which is one of the more sour ones because I do like sour flavors. So, and this is in its name. So we got the Knuckles one, literally called Sour Power. Is it sour though? Will it be as good as the Ghost energy drinks? We'll find out right now. Taste test right now. We're gonna try this out, crack it open. From the smell of it, it does smell like sour candy, but we'll find out if it's uh, the real deal. It's not bad. Like, you get that sour hit at the very beginning, but then it quickly goes into like a tart flavor, which I don't mind it, but to call the sour, I would, I don't know, I would probably give it like a six. So yeah, overall six, seven out of 10. That said, I am curious about the other flavors. I do have one more to try out, which I'll probably do in, the, in my next video, but but wrapping with that up, I gotta go pick up some, some grocery items again. I gotta do a little restock, so show you guys what I'm gonna get. Gonna probably bounce around a few places, but yeah, catch y'all then. All right, so key thing when you're on prep and you're trying to not get tired of the foods that you eat, it's important to always switch up your seasoning. So if you've been following me since the beginning, I've been really, really high on these rice seasonings. So you can see behind me are like a bunch of selections and there's one that I've been gravitating towards to uh, more recently just because I'm, it's kind of growing on me when it comes to just the flavor, which is this right here, the kimchi flavor. So the reason I like this, it does have little flakes, which adds a little crunch to all my meals. So been using this for all my rice meals. Highly recommend this if you haven't tried it yet. Really important to season your meals so you don't get tired of it. So I'm actually gonna snag this up as well. This is the chili lime in the Frank's Red Hot. Never tried it before, but I've heard good things about it. So yeah, we're gonna see if it's good. So we made it back home and I did pick up a few things along the way, which I'll show you guys right now. Did re-up on classic Uncle Ben's over here. So these were three for nine at Walmart. Um, got six of them, so the other three are over there. So in the weeks prior, I've been using just plain jasmine rice and uh, basmati rice. So the macros on those ones, uh, the carbs are a little bit higher. Um, I believe they're around like 80 grams, uh, 80 grams per pouch. So with this one, surprisingly, you can see it right there. This is only 60, so cuts the carbs down to 20 grams, so it allows me to 
fit in more food into my meal plan so so yeah that's what we're trying to aim for at this point try to get as much food as we can but also being it low carb while being on that topic did grab another bag of of this right here so this is the cauliflower rice i like using this along with the fish for my end of day meal again just getting in more volume and just try to keep myself full while also trying to keep it low carb as well so but yeah i'm gonna have my post-workout meal now so i'm just gonna show you guys what that is so over here we got the usual chicken burger so got some turkey bacon in the middle we got the chicken patty here and then with the bread as always got the sprouted power silver pills so this one again for two slices only 110 calories you got we got 19 grams of carbs 7 grams of protein so so a really good option if you like utilizing breads and you want something a little bit low carb with high protein and then I did use the new Frank's Red Hot chili lime in the middle over there so so yeah really good amount of protein Let's see if this chili lime is worth it that's not bad at all that's actually pretty good you guys haven't already would recommend this switch up the flavors a little bit get a little bit of that lime aspect yeah if you're a fan of hot sauce highly recommend all right so making a little bit of a judgment call here because we did hit a new low weigh-in and there's still quite a bit of time left to go until we hit show day. Doing a little refeed day today. I'm meeting up with a few co-workers at this restaurant. Um, right here, if you guys, right here, if you guys can see, it's Pony Corral. That said, with what I'm getting here, um, I still have to look at the menu, but it won't be anything super crazy, I don't think. Usually when it comes to refeed or cheat meals, I still kind of eyeball it just to make sure I'm not going super, super overboard. So I'm going to try to look for something that's high in protein um, with moderate carbs because I still have a good amount of carbs to work with. Um, I'm assuming the fats are going to be high as well, so I'm just going to take it as is. But yeah, we're going to head in right away and I'll show you guys what I got. So I found probably the best option I could at this place, Pony Corral. It's literally called Chicken in the Fun. Guys can see that, probably can't see it, but <laughs> it's on there. Chicken on a bun. And instead of extra fries, we got extra coleslaw for a little bit of veggies, a little bit more volume. Um, kept the sauce on it, got lettuce, tomato, and then everybody else got nachos here. <laughs> Burgers. Soon though. Was it four weeks? Four weeks out? Four or five weeks out? And then, then we could have that. But gonna finish this up and then we are actually gonna head to we're heading to activate, which is like uh what do you guys like what would you call that? Like a video game, game, game real life video game. Like a real life video game, like mini game. Activity center. We'll see you in a bit. Think of it as like a real life Mario Party area. I may but, have a panic attack. It's yeah. Real dark. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Super fun time with the Popeye squad at Activate. Um, played a bunch of games. We actually ran it back twice uh, once our time ran out. Uh, we kind of like just reloaded and kind of spent another 30 minutes just playing a bunch of games in there. Yeah, really tiring. Basically just got an extra session of cardio in there. You can even see my face is like even thinning out, which is kind of insane. So it is the end of the night. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, again, just recapping everything that that kind of went through. Uh, we're getting closer to show day, so yeah, we're just basically just being dialed in, um, heading forward, um, just watching our nutrition intake and kind of just uh, playing by ear and adjusting as we go. So yeah, we're just gonna keep working at it, keep doing what we're doing, stay consistent. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and yeah, catch you on the next one. Peace.